today we're going to learn about end screens and how to put them in your video. End screens are basically elements that will be placed in your video instead of the annotations that you might have used in the past. These elements are not transparent, so it is going to make a difference where you place them more so than the annotations did. So let's get started. They're really not that hard. All you do is select a video and add elements. You can see here, I already did this on this video. You can add links, playlists, um, a button where they can click to your channel and subscribe, and you can link other people's YouTube channels. So let me walk you through how I did this. First, you wanna go up to your profile icon up here in the upper right hand corner click on creator studio go to your video manager select the video that you would like to add in screens to now I have added in screens to this one already as well and so first I'm going to show you how to remove them all you do is click on the element and click on the trash can. Okay, So here, I want to add elements. Let me tell you one thing to look at before you get started doing this. I learned the hard way because YouTube just randomly, well actually I don't know how they select it, but somehow they select where they're going to put these elements into your video and it doesn't seem to matter if it covers something else up. So go down below the video and you will see a line that has a little question mark. When you add an element it will be on this timeline. So you can move them after you add them, it's no big deal, but just be aware that you're not just going to move where they are on the current screen, you're also going to move them on the timeline according to where they pop up and what they're covering. All right. Let's go back to adding elements. You can select any one of these elements. You can put one, two, three, or four. However, there is a restriction, and that is you have to put one video or playlist with the other elements. So you can't just do a subscribe and a link to your, a subscribe to your channel and link to your website. You must put at least one video or playlist. You can put three if you want, or four but not just two of these without the video playlist. You can also use an end screen template. So if you choose, it's going to place the end screens for you in these positions on the video. Or you can import from a video where you've already set up end screens, which is really nice, so you don't have to set them up again. And wherever they put them, remember, you can always move them down here underneath. Just like your annotation bar used to be, you can move your elements around. You can shorten and lengthen them. Now you can only make them this, this short, though. You can't make them any shorter than that. So then we're just going to create the video or playlist first. You can pick any one of these most recent uploaded video for the viewer to watch next. Best for viewer or choose a video or playlist. So we're just going to put best for viewer. And we're going to pick another. We're just going to do all four to show you how each one of these work. Now you notice when I picked the subscriber one it overlaid onto the other one. They're all going to lay in the upper left hand corner of your video, so you're going to have to drag and move them. You can mo also move them later, so don't worry, none of this is permanent. Then I'm going to create a channel link, um, the channel that I want to go to. Uh, let's see. I will just pick one that I have up right now. I happen to have library music up. So I will just plug that in and you can type a message, like, go here for 
music you want to put in your video. Actually, I'm going to put go here for free music. Create that element. Move that. And my fourth element is a link to an approved website. So I have my home website here. And you want to select what you want them to do at that website. In this particular one, I'm just going to say visit. You can change your image. I'm fine with this one right now. So I'm just going to say create element. And I'm going to move that as well. Okay, now I can preview these elements before I save them. Save emotions that provide the protection you and your child deserve. www.fixfamilycourts.com slash motions. Now you notice it's covering up words on my video, so I don't want it to do that. So I can slide this right here, and it's going to show me what's in the video at that point. Okay. I can make these show for a shorter period of time by sliding these uh, symbols. And the shortest you can make them is like that. So if you don't have very much space in your video, you can make them really, really short. You can also click on the white space of it and move them other places. You can have them pop up at different times, just like you see here. And then you can preview it again. Go to fixfamilycourts.com today for the motions that provide the protection you and your child deserve. www.fixfamilycourts.com slash motions. Okay. So again, you can see that these are covering up some important stuff. So I can actually remove this one. If I don't have room for it somewhere, I can just take it out, which I probably don't want to take out. So I'll just click on it down here and find another place for it. Okay, so I've moved all of my elements where I think they can best display in my video and not block important things in my video. So now I preview it again. Then most pay for an hour for an attorney. Go to fixfamilycourts.com today for the motions that provide now, protection. If you still don't you like the placement, them. and I wanted to move this, uh, I decided I didn't like where it is. If I click on it while this is all faded, it's going to actually take me to the link. So as you can see, it takes me to that link. So I don't want to do that. I want to click in the faded area, and then you can move your element. Okay. And if it jumps like that when you're moving things, just move your blue bar back over to it, to where it's on the element that you want to move, and it'll show up again. So then you just click on the element and move it wherever you think it's best going to display. Hit preview again. Pay for an hour for an attorney. Go to fixfamilycourts.com today for the motions that provide the protection. You see now it didn't cover the dot com. And the other three don't cover anything important either. Now, if I go back. Let's drag this blue bar again on the elements. Okay, and let's say I want to test the links. Then I'm going to preview it again. Then most pay for an hour for an attorney. Go to fix family court. I'm going to stop the video where the element is, and I'm going to click on the link. And that should take me to what it's linked to. And continue. Com today for the motions that provide the protection you and your child deserve. And when I see the next elements pop up, I'll stop the video again by just clicking in the video play area. And I can click on each of those links to test those as well. This should take me to my YouTube channel where they can subscribe. And this one should take me to my website. Once I'm satisfied that they all work, I'm going to go up here, click on Save, and then I'm done.